how to add youtube video title description and tags automatically so let's say you have uploaded a video on your channel and the details of the very same video basically the title tags and description is available in the google sheet now we are going to set an automation where those details will be picked up automatically directly from the google sheet and will be updated on the channel automatically you do not have to do anything manually yes using this google sheets and youtube automation you can automate your seo updation task from sheet to your youtube channel so if you also want to set this automation for your youtube channel come with me i'll show you the step by step process that how you can set this automation so this is my youtube channel and this is the spreadsheet where i'm maintaining the data of all my upcoming videos which are about to publish on my channel now once i have uploaded the file here in my channel i just need to mention that it is done and once i will write done the details will be automatically picked up from the sheet and will updated on the very same video automatically and i'm going to do this automation with the help of pabli connect which is also an integration and automation software you can also reach here by typing pabli.com/connect i will also attach this link in my description box now firstly you will have to create a free account in the pabli connect i am already an existing user of pabli connect that is why i am clicking on sign in and then i will click on access now and let me tell you you will also get free task in the free account of pabli connect to test this automation now once you will reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect you will have to click on this button create workflow and from here exactly we are going to start creating our automation so enter workflow name here just provide a random name to your workflow i am providing update the video details via google sheets automatically now as soon as you will click on this button create you will see two boxes in front of you those are trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this let me tell you with an example that whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application well according to our use case whenever the details are added in the google sheet application update the same video details in youtube application so basically we need to always select the application in which we are are setting up an automation and here we are setting the automation in between google sheets and youtube so that is why the trigger application here will be the google sheet and the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row and you can see a web book url and few set of instructions are visible here so the idea here is first we are going to connect this spreadsheet with the pabli connect with the help of this web book url so i'm going to copy the same and again the instructions are already given here just read these instructions one by one and follow the process go back to your google sheet and here you will have to click on extension and add on and click on get add ons and here we are going to search for pabli connect webhooks So I'm searching for the same, and you will see the Pabli Connect Webhooks add-on. You will have to install it into your account. I have already installed it, so that is why I am closing it for now. And once you will close it, click on extension once again, and you will find your Pabli Connect Webhooks option here. Click on Initial Setup, and here you will find two boxes in front of you: Webhook URL and the Trigger column. Here we need to copy this Webhook URL. url and paste the same url here and the trigger column is basically that particular column via which you would like to trigger this automation basically read the instructions the trigger column will be your final data column in which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url so i want that whenever i upload whenever i update the details in f column the automation should start trigger so i am going to write here f as my trigger column 
and now you will have to click on send test but you will see no data row found no data found in row 2 will be visible here because the trigger column is actually vacant doesn't matter if the respective data if the row of that data is already filled up the trigger column should be filled up then only this automation will start trigger so i'm going to close it for now and will write it something here so this column is asking that whether this video is actually uploaded or not. Well, I have not uploaded any video on the channel. So firstly, I am going to upload this particular video and then I will update this column. So coming back here in my YouTube channel, click on upload files and here I am going to upload just a testing file in front of you. Okay. So I am uploading this particular file. The name is end screen. So let's say someone from your video team has successfully uploaded this video and after the successful uploading of this video, all they have to do is to copy the URL of this video and paste it here in the Google Sheet. Now why I am adding this URL in the spreadsheet because whenever I am going to update these details in the YouTube, it will surely going to ask me the ID of your YouTube and I have this ID in this particular URL only that is why I have fetched this ID, fetched this URL and from this URL now I am going to fetch this ID, I am going to separate this ID with the help of the split formula of the Google Sheet only. So I have inserted one more column here and here I am going to provide the formula I am going to add the formula the formula name is actually the split function okay it is asking for the text so let me select this text which we would like to separate press comma and use two inverted commas and within this particular inverted comma you will have to provide the separator value well I want to separate this value via this equal to so I have provided the same close this bracket press enter and you will see the url will be separated and this is how you will get the video id well this particular column is actually of no use but i cannot even delete this particular column because my formula is actually present in the column so i am going to hide that column so that I can see all the things in the one go in one screen only. Now once the uploading is done and once you have provided the formula, well I have forgot to mention one more thing okay. So you will have to drag this formula up to the end so that as soon as your team the uploading team is going to add the video URL in the sheet that formula will be applied automatically on that URL and the video ID will be separated automatically. So I have added this formula up to 595 row. So if you will add more details here and as soon as the person will add the URL, the formula will be applied here automatically and the ID will be separated. Let me even show you how it is going to work. As soon as you will add the formula here, the ID will be fetched up. I have undo this particular step. Now I am going to again Again, hide this column okay let's go to the top section and finally once the uploading of the video is done you have added the URL the video ID has been separated now all you have to do is to just write the done here or you can say the uploading is done yes the uploading is done simply write yes here now finally click on your extension tab public connect webhooks initial setup and again copy your webhook url come back here and well it is already added here g is the column i have as a trigger column since i have added one more column that is why it has just shifted okay so this time i am going to update this column as g and this time when i will click on send test you will see the data will be sent to the Pabli Connect. Yes, test data sent successfully. This is the title. The description is here. Every detail has been sent. Click on submit and close this box and you can see once I have added the yes, the details have been sent to the Pabli Connect. Let me show you the details and you can see the response is received. Let me even show you the details one by one. Here you can see the same URL, video URL. Here is the title of the video. The tags are 
are here video id is here description uploaded column yes the trigger column was actually g and it is the spreadsheet name the spreadsheet id the sheet name sheet id and row index so finally we have all the details now i want to send these details to my youtube i want to basically update these details directly from the google sheet now here is the twist i am going to add one more condition here using the feature of the public connect called as filter why i am adding this condition because i want to make sure that whenever the person is adding this particular yes in the column then only these details should be updated okay so i'm going to set the same condition in the public connect that whenever in that particular column in which column basically in the updated status whenever the uploaded column will get the value of yes will get the value of yes then only this automation should continue and you will see the condition is true because this time in this particular column we actually have the yes value only that is why the yes is equal to yes so this is how using this particular feature you can apply several kind of conditions within your automation of pabli connect now once this condition is true what should be the next step it should directly update the details in the youtube but before that you will have to fetch out one more thing and what is that thing along with this video id the youtube is surely going to ask me the category id also of this particular youtube video so from where i am going to fetch it let me show you click on this plus icon once again search for the youtube application once again and the id which we already have in that google sheet with the help of that id i am going to list the other details of the video okay so list of videos by id should be the action event click on connect click on add new connection connect with youtube and provide the access of your youtube channel via here and don't worry pabli connect is 100% safe okay and the authorization is successful and your channel is connected it is asking for the video id we are going to map the id directly from this field now what is mapping whatever the values you are going to map here will be changed automatically will be replaced automatically and we have just received the id in the google sheet response only so we just need to map this value in the below window i don't need to copy and paste it here you can see the above data is already available in the drop down simply select this particular id and click on save and send test request and you will see the magic all the details will be fetched up automatically basically the id is here the published time is here and we have several other details but we wanted the category id so where is the category id let me directly search for that where is the category id and you can see here is the category id finally we have the category id and now we are all set to go again i am going to click on this plus section again search for the youtube channel only select the same and in the action event this time you will have to select the update details okay remember update the video details click on connect click on well this time i am going to use this existing connections only because i have just made the connection and as i have told you the very first thing it will ask you the category id that is why we have applied this particular step here okay so coming back here and here i am going to again map the category from this particular youtube response and where is the id let me find the same this is the id of my video category basically the category id now it is asking for the channel name well i have the channel name as pabli only let me show you yes it is the same coming back to pabli connect now second thing it is asking for the video id so instead of selecting this video id from the drop down i will map the video id how 
enable this mapping button remove this existing id and you will find your id remember we have fetched the id from the google sheet response and this is the video id and again let me tell you the significance of mapping is whatever the details you will map here will be replaced automatically the next time basically in real time these details will be changed automatically and if you will write it manually the details will remain same okay now it is asking for the video title which you would like to update the tag the description and the thumbnail url well in my google sheet i have added only three details not the thumbnail url in case you want to add the thumbnail url as well you can keep it in your google sheet now let's map the title okay directly search for the same this is the video title and here are the tags again search for the same okay you can see here are the tags and lastly the description of the video which i have prepared in my sheet so i have provided all the seo details of my youtube video which has got just uploaded on the channel clicking on save and send test request and once the response is received well yes you can see the response is received i am going to refresh this video twice and thrice to check whether the changes are done automatically or not directly from the google sheet and you can see how to contact pably connect team it is the same response it is the same title which i have provided in the sheet this is the description basically the email address phone number facebook group ask your queries pably connect website let me check for the same basically for the description and yes the description has also got updated automatically directly from the google sheet and these are the tags if i will edit this video i can even find the updated tags also so let me show you the tag section click on show more hyperlink all right and yes you can see we have the tags as well so this is how now onwards whenever your team member will upload the video and add the url here in front of any video or any video details and when they will write yes the details will be updated automatically first what exactly will happen firstly the details will be fetched up here in the google sheet and once the details are here we're going to apply the condition that whether the column has the value of yes or not if the team member has provided yes he has written the yes value in that case the automation will proceed further then it will fetch out the category id of that video which will required here and this is how we are going to map all the details and we will be able to successfully update all the details directly from google sheet and let me tell you this automation is actually a one time process you just have to create this automation once and now onwards pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end as soon as the video got uploaded and it will find the value as yes in this particular column the details will be updated automatically in case you want to clone this whole setup into your account i will attach this shareable link in my description box from where you can clone this whole setup into your account that too for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pably Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video